Steve Zazo asks the Chief of Defence Staff and Service Chiefs to unfailingly appear physically before it next week to brief lawmakers on measures and policies been put in place towards addressing security challenges in the country. The House at Thursday's plenary says it will not interface with proxies of chief executives or top government functionaries who are invited for sectoral briefings and debates in Parliament. National Assembly correspondent Mitai Reikwen reports. The House of Representatives had scheduled the defense sector to begin its sectoral debate, which is a constitutional mandate of Parliament to receive briefings from policy makers on the floor of the House and seek clarifications where necessary. The, the, the Chief of Defense Staff, as well as the Chiefs of Honorable Army, Member, Navy and Air Staff, had been invited for this plenary, but their representatives showed up to the displeasure of lawmakers. When we invite Chief Executives, be it private sector or public sector, they must come in person. I want to pray that we don't break this sacred tradition of our house, lest we be taken for granted. I therefore move that this sectoral engagement be suspended until the leaders of these um, agencies that we invited come to address us, take our questions, explain certain things to us. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against, those against you say me, the eyes have it. Our dear brothers, you have heard from the house in an emphatic manner that this house does not encourage, does not accept representation, particularly at this high level engagement. We thank you for coming. 30 bills scaled first reading and four bills were passed by the House, including the bills to establish the Chartered Institute of Business Administration of Nigeria and the Nigerian Council for Psychologists. Also adopted was a motion to establish an inland dry port in Enugu state. Currently, the lack of major inland port in Enugu, the former eastern capital of Nigeria, is hindering the regional potential for efficient and cost-effective transportation of goods a speedy deliverance of services. The House has adjourned plenary till the next legislative date. From the National Assembly, Mitaire Ikben.